Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to get straight into it because I don't have enough time for an intro. So for primer I use the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I've never used this before. This was Shani's and it was just the first thing that I saw. So that's why I popped it on. And then for foundation I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. This one's in the shade Shell. And as you can see, I'm just placing that on her face first and then blending it out with a beauty blender. I kind of wish I used a kabuki brush though because it was really, really hard to blend out. I would say this foundation is more suited for people with drier skin just because it got a little bit oily on me because I have oily skin. Even Shani said it does still get a little bit oily and dewy on her skin and she has dry to combo skin. So yeah, I just thought I would mention that. It's amazing coverage. I love the color. It matched her fresh tan. She actually had wet tan on so we were hoping and praying that it would match and it matched absolutely perfectly so yeah i'm just buffing that in with a damp beauty blender For concealer, surprise, surprise, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light and just placing that underneath her eyes. Then I go ahead and place it around her nostrils, Cupid's bow, chin, down the center of her nose and then a little bit on her forehead and then blending it all out. And setting the concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Sometimes I use a sponge, sometimes I use a brush. It just depends how I feel on the day. I feel both techniques work well. So I'm just using the Rebon Large Highlighter Brush for this. And yeah, just packing on the product underneath her eyes. Then taking the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in the shade Medium Tan. And just using that to set the rest of her face. Then for brows, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Kit. I can't believe this is only like $3 from Priceline. I used to use this years ago when I was first starting out with makeup. So it brings back some mems. But yeah, I'm just going in with the darker shade on the ends. And then at the start, I'm going in with the lighter shade. Then to carve the brows out, I'm using the Fit Me Concealer again, just on a concealer brush. And as you can see, I'm just going directly underneath and above the brow. Then to set the brows in place, I'm using the Australis Tint My Brow. This is in the shade Brunette. I also used to use this years ago and it's still one of my favorites, although I don't know where mine is, so I have to repurchase it. Um, and then I'm going in with a large powder brush and just wiping off the excess powder from the bake. So to contour, I'm using Hula Benefit, of course, just on a Reborn small powder brush and just placing that in the hollows of her cheekbones. I actually went reverse and did contouring and then bronzing after. I don't know why. I just, I just did it that way that day. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm just using swirling motions and placing it on her cheeks, jaw and on her temples.
Then for bronzer, I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun. This is actually Shani's favorite bronzer, so I thought I would give it another whirl. I've got it at home, but I feel like on my skin tone, it comes up orange on me, but it looked amazing on her. So I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but yeah, so I'm using that to bronze her face up. Then to bake her contour, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder again, just on an angled sponge. And as you can see, I'm just drawing a line from the top of her ear to the side of her mouth. Then for blush, I'm taking MAC Warm Soul. I'm just placing that on the apples of her cheeks and dragging it up to the sides of her temples. As you probably already know, I'm not much of a blush person, but I love this because it's so neutral and it's kind of like in between a blush and a bronzer. It gives a bit of color, but not too much, which is perfect for me. And then I used her Artist Couture Illuminati Loose Powder Highlight and oh my fucking God, I need these in my life. Look at that highlight though. Then I'm just wiping off the excess powder from the bake. Then for the eyes to prime them, I'm just using the Maybelline Concealer in light again, blending that in and then setting it with a, I think I just use a translucent powder, but any light powder or eyeshadow will do. It's really important to set the lids so the eyeshadow blends seamlessly. And then for the transition shade, I used Frappe by Makeup Geek, just on a large crease brush by Rebon. And blending that through the crease and upper crease area and slowly building up the color to a intense kind of burnt orange shade. Then taking the Kylie Cosmetics Rose Gold Cream Eyeshadow and I'm just placing that basically on her whole lid. Although next time I use this product or any cream eyeshadow in general, I'm not going to set my eyelids just because I found that it kind of went flaky because it was applied on like a, such a dry surface. So yeah, next time I'm definitely not going to... Um, powder my eyes before I put this on. I'm just going to put it on straight away. So that's like the only downside of using this, but it's such an amazing color. I'm seriously so obsessed with it. Then I'm taking Americano by Makeup Geek and just placing that on the outer corners of her eyes. Americano is basically like a brown with a purpley sort of undertone. It's amazing. Then I'm just adding a little bit more of the cream eyeshadow, just mainly to the inner corners of the eyes because we lost some of the pigment when I was blending. Then taking Americano again, I'm just taking that on a Zoeva eyeshadow packing brush. I'll leave the names down below as always. And I'm just smoking that onto her bottom lash line.
because I didn't want to put anything too dramatic in her waterline, I just decided to use eyeshadow. So I picked up Corrupt by Makeup Geek and I'm using that on a really fine liner brush and I'm just placing that directly underneath her lower lash line and then blending it out. So it still looks smoky but not overly dramatic just because I find that when I put black in the waterline, it makes the eyes appear smaller and we did not want that today. We wanted to make her eyes look as big as possible. So yeah, that's why I decided to just use eyeshadows. Then I'm taking the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and holy shit, I was really blown away by this. It's really good. By the way, this is shiny, so that's why I used it directly on her eyelashes. Obviously, if she was a client, I would use um, disposable mascara ones. Then for lashes, I'm using the Huda Beauty in the style Audrey. These are so amazing and dramatic. Um, and i am just used the Duo Lash Glue to apply them. Then I'm also just applying some mascara on the top just to blend her falsies with her real eyelashes and then applying some on her bottom lashes as well. Then taking the Bum Meat Matrimony palette and I'm taking the black which is the bottom right and I'm just using that to hide the glue from the lashes and I kind of just added a little bit of black in the outer corners just to make it a bit smoky because I wasn't adding any liner and I felt like it needed a bit of black to kind of make the look complete. Then doing a little bit of nose contouring using the Hula Benefit just on a rebon, like this is just an eyeshadow brush. She doesn't really need much nose contouring because she's already got a small narrow nose so I didn't really need to do much. Um, and then I'm going in with lip liner. This is one of the new Urban Decay Glide On lip pencils. I'm unsure of the shade. I'll have to message her because this was actually hers and I didn't write it down, damn it. But I'm just slightly overdrawing her top lip because why the fuck not? Then to fill in the lips, I'm using Jeffree Star Androgyny. Oh my god, this is probably my favorite Jeffree Star liquid lipstick. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. It's just perfection. It's probably my favorite darker nude shade in my whole entire collection. Like, that's how much I love it. It's so good. And then because dark liquid lipsticks are a bitch to apply, I'm just going in with some concealer on a concealer brush just to really sharpen up the edges to make them look perfect. And then I thought the inner corner was lacking some slayage, so I added a full load more of that Artist Couture Illuminati powder. Holy shit, I need it so bad. Then going in with the MAC Lip Glass, this is just a clear one. It's so thick, but apparently Shani said that it was comfortable on the lips, because I was like, oh god, this is going to be so sticky and like uncomfortable, but she was like, it's actually really comfortable, so... I need it in my life now. It's so nice. The lips look so wet and just amazing. I love the way it looked. Then I'm spraying with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to head over to Shani's channel and subscribe to her videos because she's just absolutely amazing and she's even prettier in real life. I know, how is that even possible? But yeah, thanks so much for watching again. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.